repackage unit, iced up. Both compressors are iced up. You're gonna have to check it out. This one might get ugly. Have the blower door off, and it is iced up. And this motor, indoor motor, the indoor blower motor is cool as a cucumber. And I see some burnt wiring. That is a bad motor. That thing is iced up pretty bad. I'm gonna have to order a. I'm gonna have to order a motor for this. So they're gonna be down. But this ice is so thick. You're looking at days, months, <laughs> years of de-icing. <laughs> so. I'm gonna take this uh, shiv off. I really don't recommend you doing this because it's a good way to break them, but I'm confident this baby will come off. Voila! That puller has won me more money than Vegas. It's, there's nothing that that thing will not pull off. I got the uh, shiv on. And then what I end up doing is I, I back the Allen out and make sure this in contact with the keyway. And I tighten it down. Now I have to wired up it's 460 volt volt so um, it's wired for 460 right now so I'm gonna wire it up here and then I'm gonna install it that way I don't have to be working on it trying to figure out my numbers way back in there I'm ready to hook up the three main wires I've, I've shortened these up it's going to give me more room when I when I do my final hook up in here and I put the put the wire nuts the wire nuts on them so they don't fall off and you stick them in there it's going to get to get pretty cramped up in there ready to be installed. Here's the uh, motor up and running. I put a new belt on it. Amps out of 4.2. Max is 4.6. That's with the floor door on under load. And I'm going to change out the uh, contactor. Right hand side. up and running the uh, indoor blower contactor I just installed and it's amped out so everything's running okay.